Good day, everyone. This is Sybil Gooley and correspondent Rudy Fillmeyer for Channel 51 News on the Spot. We have a lot of serious news today, folks. First, let's start with Sybil's visit with the manager of Plotter Gun. Yes, Rudy. I met the manager to discuss the ongoing issues that upset some people and the management. Here's the clip. La, 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 dee, dee, la. Come in. Well, hello, Miss Gooley. You are right on time. Very pleased to meet you, manager. Shall we have a seat over there? May I take your coat, Miss Gooley? Oh, no thank you, sir. I've been a bit cold all day. So, you wanted to know the issues we face here, at Plotter Gone? Yes, we do. One of the main issues that we really frown upon here is, people making more than one account. We have seen some users with 10 accounts or more. And why does that cause a problem? Well, first let me say, we have the most talented movie makers here than anywhere in the world. Our plotters make anything from short stories to series with many episodes. They are so talented. So when someone comes here to plotter gone for the wrong reasons, it really upsets our talented filmmakers. What wrong reasons? Why in the hell would someone be there for the wrong reasons? Uh, some people enjoy causing trouble. Some will make many accounts to try and get more likes and followers than others. And some will make fake extra accounts to bother others or make bad comments. And they know if that account is caught, they still have another one. Well, that is downright mean, Mr. Plotter. Are there a lot of mean people here? You are right, Miss Gooley. It is very mean. But no, there are only a handful of these people here. Most are talented filmmakers and very nice to each other. Whew, what a relief that most people here are good, talented people and nice. Because I myself like plotting too. Yes, everyone loves plotting Miss Gooley, and we wish to keep Plotter gone a safe place where people can express their self and become great filmmakers. Mr. Plotter, may I see how very handsome you are? He <laughs> he. Well, thank you, Miss Gooley. We should go out for a drink sometime, Mr. Plotter. Ah, uh, I am sure that would be fun. But I am married, Miss Gooley, and my wife likes me to only drink and dine with her. But thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sybil don't like that. Sybil must control herself on live TV, though, so okay, I understand. May I just run my fingers through your hair? Oh, uh, no, I am sorry, but no. Can I tickle you or pinch you just a little bit? No, sorry, no, okay. I think that wraps up the story here, doesn't it, Miss Gooley? Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. My mind just goes off track every now and then. Thank you, Miss Gooley, for doing this story. You're welcome, and thank you. This has been a great interview. Okay, okay, Miss Gooley. Good day now, dear. Rudy, Mr. Plotter is the most handsome man I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Moving on now, in other news. Chinese have decided to side with the Middle East about the toilet paper war. Confucius say when water comes out, no need to wipe. Rudy, did I mention how good Mr. Plotter smelled? Oh, he had the most wonderful cologne on. Well, you have mentioned it now, haven't you, Sybil? Uh, in political news, Trump has now taken the lead over Hillary Clinton. Here is a clip with what Miss Clinton had to say about that. Have you people actually seen Trump? Or heard him talk? Oh, Rudy, did I tell the people how much more handsome that Mr. Plotter is than Trump? Uh, they know now, Sybil. And I kissed Mr. Plotter's cheek. It was as smooth as a baby's behind. 
Oh, brother, Sybil. That's our news for today. I am Rudy Filmeyer for Channel 51 News on the Spot. Woo! <laughs>